Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Spellforce 3 Soul Harvest, where we left off last time. Uh, we just talked to the Queen, Wraith wants to talk to us, and apparently somebody else General, wants to talk to us. is there anything I can help you with? Not so you. Long. Tiara's light, General. Who was it? I think it was what him, actually. So my game is lagging just a tiny bit. Yes. Weird. I'm going to be ordering a new computer sometime yes, this year. General. Which I am pretty excited about. Did you need something? Did you need something? Yes. I could use your help, actually. I heard about a murder that happened a few nights ago in the market. The guard believes an Aliani outcast pushed a merchant off the wall and took all his gold before fleeing the city. Damn. He was lost spotted near the Howling Steps. I fear he may be heading for our village. Uh, are there a lot of outcasts? Are there a lot of outcasts? A few, but not many. It's always a serious matter when someone is accused of a capital crime. The whole tribe gathers to bear witness. I can only remember it happening twice. When someone is sentenced to exile, we record their name, the only memorial to them. Of course, we don't know what happens to them after they leave, but as far as the tribe is concerned, they're as good as dead. Why would he head for the village? Why do you think a wanted murderer would head for your village? Maybe he thinks he can hide in the steps? I don't really know. I don't understand the mind of a murderer. But someone like that is too dangerous to be allowed anywhere near the village. How do they know he's the murderer? How do they know it was murder? Were there witnesses? Well, no one else was in the market when it happened, but someone passing by saw him flee. When they went to see what happened, they found the ransacked stall and the merchant's body down below. Yeah, that's pretty incriminating. Why do you need my help? Okay, but why do you need my help? I want to track him down. I... I knew him. His name is Marungi. He became an outcast about eight years ago, but not for any crime. He chose to leave. Why? He didn't agree with our isolation. He called my father a child sitting in the mud with his eyes and ears shut. But I remember he was kind and generous. That's what I don't understand. How does someone like that commit murder? Maybe it's as my father says. Once we give in to our vices, it spreads like rot, but... I don't know. I want to understand. How do you know it was him? Are you certain it was him? The guard said the man had a tattoo on the right side of his face. It's him. Why do you want to get involved? Why do you want to get involved with this? He may be an outcast, but he was once one of my people. I suppose I feel responsible for bringing him to justice. More than that, I need to know. I need to look him in the eyes and ask how, why. And if he really is heading for the steps, I know the land. I could help catch him faster than the guard could. You seem really affected by this. This is really bothering you, isn't it? I've always thought maybe our laws were too harsh, but then this happens, and to me, it proves why we need them. At the very least, I want to help make it right. We'll go right away. Okay, we'll head back to the Howling Steps as soon as we can. Thank you. Taking care of this will set my mind at ease. Let's go right yes. now. Go get it done. Wraith can wait for his main quest. We got side quests to do. But yeah, I'm gonna order a new computer at some point this year. Pretty excited about it. Although building computers is fun, it is also stressful. But I'm gonna be making a mini ITX computer. I think it's gonna be really good with a 2080 Ti. It's gonna be neat. Uh, all right, let's go. We're gonna go, actually there's a couple side quests down here. Oh, that's the Howling Steps. Is that the Dung Crab? No, that's the necklace. We should look up how to do that one because I have never seen a gold necklace in a store. Mm, yeah, that's a good enough group. I mean, it's a murderer. How hard could it be? We've killed literally demons and va not vampires. Have we killed a vampire? I don't think we've killed any vampires. We've killed demons, though. We've killed lots of ghosts. 
Killed a couple of high ranking dwarves. Killed some dark elves. You know, we've done a lot of things. I'm sure we can handle one Eliani murderer, possible murderer. I bet you he's not the murderer though. There's gonna be a twist. There always is. I didn't realize how much I missed this sight. That feeling of coming home never gets old. <sighs> At least the smell is gone. All right, let's look for that exile. General, stay close. Okay. Over here. That's where he is. Oh, he's just—he's just right by a thing. Okay, don't stop. What's the latest? Oh. Got it. Keep it up. I have to say, Lady Alathiel, I still can't believe you're six hundred years old. I mean. You must... how much? Hmm. Royals and... Uh... Wait. I know you. My armor's boy, right? What are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing, Morangi. You think you can come crawling back to the Aliami after what you did? So you know. <laughs> Ancestors. I thought I'd have more time. You don't deny it? Is this what the outside world has done to you? Ah, like father, like son. Your head is buried so deep in the steps you could never understand. Help us understand. Tell me. Who are you, anyway? And why is Kayawu with you? General Erev, commander of the Wolf Guard. Kayawu is helping us to stop Shayok dead. Is he now? Then perhaps there's more to him than I thought. I wasn't planning on killing anyone. I snuck into that merchant's stall to take his coin. Thievery. Wonderful. I knew this merchant locked up his coin in his stall every night. <laughs> Foolish. But it was the perfect opportunity. No one was supposed to be there. But while I was picking the lock, he returned. We struggled. He pulled a knife. And then before I knew it, he had gone over the wall. Then he took the golden ran. And then you took the golden ran. Yes. He had no use for it anymore. But why were you stealing the gold in the first place? Your selfishness cost the life of a mother. You always said our isolation was wrong. That we didn't need our laws to be better than our baser instincts. But look where you are. You think being able to say, I did nothing wrong, makes you a good person? <sighs> the Aliani are living in a fantasy. Their peace is only possible because they refuse to do anything. But that's not peace. It's apathy. That illusion vanishes out here. I wasn't going to do nothing. I wasn't going to let my little girl die because I didn't have the coin to save her. You... you have a daughter? Yes. And she was sick. The ways of our people would have had me pray to the ancestors and nothing more. She was going to die without medicine. Medicine that I couldn't afford. So I stole the gold. You tell me what that makes me. What happened to your daughter? Where's your daughter now? Safe with her mother. The coin got her the medicine she needed. You will never find them. You split up so the soldiers would follow you, not them. Yes. They will be safe and taken care of. And I will pay whatever price for it. Why'd you come here? If you disagree with the Aliani so much, why'd you come here? I may not agree with my people, and they may not want me. But I am still Aliani. I wanted to see my homeland one last time. You still committed a crime. However noble your intentions, nothing will erase the fact that you killed that merchant. Yes, I know. I'm not trying to excuse my actions. A life for a life. Kill me, outsider, and be done with it. What? I came out here to die. I won't rot in some prison. No. You're an exile. You forfeited your right to these lands. Kayawu, what is more important? Being right or being kind? You're with these outsiders. Why didn't you stay in the village? This 
isn't about me. <laughs> no, of course not. Well, outsider? Kaiwu? Kaiwu, what do you think we should do? I... I don't know. Truth be told, my head is clouded with storms. It's up to you, General. Hmm. Gonna send him to justice. I won't kill you. The Crown will judge you for your crimes, and you'll be given a punishment accordingly. No, I won't go back there. Kill me. I'm sorry. Sheok did take you. Kill me, damn it. Leave me. Kyle, are you I feel okay? we could have he just restrained no him. Despite what he said, it ended in suffering. I... I need to think about things. Could we talk when we're back in Greykeep? Sure. Let's go. You're telling me that four heavily armed and armored people couldn't restrain one dude in cloth with no weapons without killing him? I mean, just gonna say it, there was another way that that could have gone down. Just like punch him in the face with a gauntlet, he would have gone down in an instant. You didn't need to hit him with like death magic <laughs> from a staff. Oh well. All the way back we go to the throne room. Which is a quick loading time apparently. Ah, General. Thanks for checking in. How are you doing? Still thinking about what Morangi said. What about it? I don't know. But maybe he had a point. Am I so different from him? I told my father I wanted to be someone who actually did something. Maybe I was foolish. You're not foolish. You're not foolish. You left out of a desire to help people. That's called caring. Morangi was trying to help someone he loved. You're not him. Just because you started from the same motivation doesn't mean you'll end up the same. You control your actions. You're probably right. Still, Morangi was pushed into his actions by desperation and fear. It makes me question whether he was right, that our belief about resisting our vices is just wishful thinking. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if I'm helping my people or betraying them. Change is good. See? That doubt is good. Change is always happening. Sometimes for the better, sometimes not. But what's important is you're aware of it. Don't be afraid of change. You'll come out stronger on the other end. Yeah. I didn't think about it like that before. I don't know if anything is clearer to me, but I'm glad we talked. You really know how to help people. Anytime. Let's get back to it then. All right. What do you need? Just gonna quickly check them. No, I'll start to race first. Out of the way. Over I have here. a feeling we have to go somewhere anyways, so. Finally, we did as you asked. Seems you were right. The intelligence have claimed the two bodies you described. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, wait, you're not. Here's your money. You can go. Wait, you're Skadar? My friend told me. You can go, bloody amateurs. What was that about? What was that about? He mentioned bodies? The intelligence? My son and my wife. Yes, I never properly buried them after the Bloodburn took them. I hired this fool and his friend to investigate a rumor. Apparently, the intelligence recently started combing villages that were affected by it. Combing them for what? Bodies. For <clears throat> necromancy and study. In other words, my son and my wife are probably serving the Exalted Father's mages as undead slaves now. What do you plan on doing? What do you plan on doing? Nothing. There's nothing I can do. You never told me how your family died. You never told me how your family died. Because it's irrelevant. 
They are dead, and I could have saved them had I been less of a fool. That's all you need to know. How come you didn't bury them? How come you didn't bury them? There was... no time. Also, I was in no state to think clearly. Sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Anyway, you're probably here for the ritual, aren't you? Yes. Are you ready to perform it? I am. Just tell me when. General. General. Perform the ritual. Not the inevitable any longer. Let's perform the ritual. Okay. As you enter the Hall of Justice, a queasy feeling arises in your stomach. Part nervousness, part premonition. Whether it's from the immense energy radiating off the turquoise staff Wraith carries wrapped in an embroidered piece of cloth, or because of the significance of this place, you cannot say. This is where Rondar Lacane started Jakku by letting the God of Light enter our world. And it's here that you'll put an end to it. Don't think I will. I have a feeling there's going to be a Good. twist. I think I'm ready. Then do it. Find the corrupted. I will. Tiara's breath. That energy. Wraith, can you see them? I'm trying. Yes. Yes, there's one. That's her. That's the masked woman. Where is she? Where are they hiding? I'm, I'm still... Nor's claws. She's here, General. The masked woman is here. What? What the... No! No! She's draining! Ah! Rich harvest. Deal with them. Sleepers! That's a lot of sleepers. Okay, so my group's up here. Well, let's get some things summoned up. Ooh, she just took a beating. Yes. What are you doing? Why are you over there? Oh, I see. I sent you that way. Uh, let's get a potion on you. Let's run you two. Skeletons. Some taunting. We'll be fine. Uh, I need some... Demon summoning. There we go. We'll be fine. Looks like the corpse golem dealt with the other side. Spooky music going. I think we did it. It's over. And the jade staff is gone. But no. How did she get into the keep? And what did she do? That's a damn good question. She redirected the energy from the ritual into the Horde of Souls. That's what she did. As to how she got in here, no idea. There are supposed to be protection rooms that prevent people from teleporting in and out of the keep whenever they feel like it. There must be... The Crescent! They've infiltrated the fortress! Of course! To the Queen, quick! As you reach King's Vantage, you find it in a state of chaos. Three Wolfguard fight two sleepers under the pavilion, and a group of soldiers struggle with a pack of siphoned harrying them. Adrenaline lending you speed, you make for the throne room. To the Queen! Quick! Holy crap, there's a lot of dead people around. She's just chilling. Your Majesty, they are dead. Is that... Commander Reinhold. The commander who led the caravan that got ambushed. He's... he's behind this? Behind what? Talk to me, General. What happened in the Hall of Justice? A lot. They already cleared the bodies out. So the staff is destroyed? And we still do not know the identities or whereabouts of the corrupted. Well, I saw something. But the memory is gone. We can only hope that it comes back. Even if it does, the staff's energy filled the heart of souls to the brim. Whatever the Crescent is planning to do with it, they'll do it a lot sooner than expected. 
And you let them in. You let the masked woman into Greykeep. That's correct, your majesty. I did. Why? Do you really have to ask? Because you betrayed me first. Betrayed? Wait. This is about the Golden Road incident? Because the Queen demoted you? Demoted? You discarded me! I would have given my life for the crown, but you threw me away like an old pair of boots! And all because I messed up once, and left that bloody caravan unguarded! The Golden Road was not the first of your failures. We all make mistakes. Except they earned some people in this room a position in the Wolf Guard, and others, one in the gutter. Aye, so tragic. In other words, an early pension was reason enough for you to sell us out to the Crescent. I would have sold you out to a horde of the undead if they'd made me the same offer. I don't give a damn about the masked woman, the corrupted, or that stupid Jakku. I did this because I wanted to see this bloody fortress burn. And they were... They were my best bet. Unconscious. What now, Your Majesty? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me like we're well and truly f done for. Not yet. First of all, we need to take care of the attackers. Teleport runes don't reach that far, so the masked woman must still be nearby. Possibly at one of the Crescent's hideouts. They might have set up camp near Greyfell. If so, we might still catch them. Them and the Horde of Souls. Mobilize the guard as fast as you can, then head to the Golden Road. We will make sure all the assassins are dealt with in the meantime. Understood. We won't fail you. All right. General, is there anything I can help you with? Nope. So long. Tiara's light, General. Keep it up. All right. Let's just check to see if anyone has anything to say as we leave the keep. Yes, General? Nope. Uh, no. Thanks for the chat. Of course. Listen for the storm. Well. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to go to the blackboard and check the reaver bounties. And then I think we're going to be done this video. We did quite a bit. We uh, killed a murderer, which we probably didn't need to do. And then we saved the keep from an invasion. A mini invasion, really. And it looks like the queen just murdered everyone. She obviously is very powerful, or she had a lot of help, one of the two. Uh, that's the mercenary guy. Let's go to the Stay close. bulletin yeah, board here. Hmm. What's this? Let's take a quick look. Let's see what's new. King's Crossing Problem. Bandits. All right. Out of the way. We'll deal with those in the next video. So, like always, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.